So here we are. I'm bringing you the second video in my Sniper EFI install. However, this is not going to be the video that you probably think it is. I've got to admit it. I saw something shiny and we are about to go down the rabbit hole. Greetings fellow DIYer and welcome to my video. My first video in this series was all about this intake manifold. Now, obviously it looks a little different than it did in that video because it's been cleaned up, it's been painted. I also blended the inside of the plenum here to match the spacer that I'm gonna be using. That video got a lot of views. It had quite a response from you, the viewer. Lots of questions, lots of information, lots of comments. And one such comment put something on my radar that I was unfamiliar with. And that is this right here. This is called a carb cheater. And we're going to get into what that is and what that does here in just a minute. But first, I want to talk about the comment that precipitated this entire situation. The comment was, why would anyone want to spend that kind of money for a TBI system when you could spend less than $550 on a carb cheater to add to the carburetor system and get all the benefits while maintaining the simplicity of a carburetor. Now, when I read that comment, and yes, I read all the comments, and I try to respond to all the comments. My first question was, what the heck's a carb cheater? A quick Google search brought me to the company that is producing these parts. It actually is well documented on another YouTube channel. Thunderhead289 is the creator of this, or co-creator of this. And he has a fairly extensive channel with some interesting projects going on. Upon going to his channel and looking into Carb Cheater, Carb Cheater is kind of like a way to make a carburetor computer controlled like EFI. Now, what does that mean? Well, a properly tuned carburetor is going to run pretty well. But more often than not, when it's not running as well as it should, it's because more fuel is being applied down into the intake than is needed for the correct air fuel ratio. So the guys that developed this, Thunderhead 289 and his partner, determined that if they made a computer controlled vacuum leak, they could lean out the carburetor in the situations when it's dumping way too much fuel down into the intake. And that's exactly how the system works. You've got this solenoid right here that is computer controlled that is allowing air into a vacuum port. I'm gonna actually go into the port on the back of the carburetor. You have your basic computer control right here. I opted for the touch screen because I do not have an Android type phone. That is a requirement for their system that if you want to have touchscreen capability, you need an Android phone or you need to purchase this touchscreen. Which brings me to my next point, purchase. I paid for all this. This is not an ad for Carb Cheater. I'm not getting any kickbacks. I'm not getting any royalties. I didn't get a discount on this. I paid full price for everything you see on this table and all the stuff that you don't see. It actually comes with a very extensive wiring harness. It comes with vacuum hose. It comes with everything that you need to install this kit with an existing carburetor. So why did I purchase this if I'm doing this? Well, I like to tinker. And after watching Thunderhead 289's videos, I was very intrigued with this. I was like, that sounds like a really interesting system. And frankly, it's worth it to me to purchase this just to play with it. Now, in the long run, I will probably attach this to my engine run stand and use it as a diagnostic tool. But for the time being, we're actually going to install it on the Galaxy before I install this so that I can compare the two. If you want more information on what a carb cheater is and what it does, other than the quick hit that I've given you, make sure you check out Thunderhead 289's channel. He's got at least three videos on this product and the install of this product and everything about what he has going on. So was the commenter correct when they were talking about how this is only $550 and this is like $1,200 and there's no contest? Well, that is a completely true statement if and only if you already have the carburetor. If you are buying a carburetor brand new, 
The cost of this with a carburetor is actually going to be about the same price as this. But how many of us car guys have a stack of carburetors just sitting there waiting for some project? I know I've collected them over the years. So that cost may or may not be something that you incur. If you've already got the carburetor, this is super affordable and super convenient, and you still have the ability to run the carburetor by itself if all of this fails. You can just disconnect it. So there are definitely some advantages, and I am really curious to see if this is going to be as amazing as I think it is. I know already that this is going to be fantastic, and I have a pretty good inclination that this is going to be as good or very, very close. To install this on my Galaxy, I'm gonna to have to install this intake manifold that we machined in the previous video. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you go and check that out. I'm also gonna to have to drill a hole in the exhaust and weld in a bung for the O2 sensor. And that is a big part of the install that is involved in this. So I thought, I am never gonna have a better opportunity. I'll go ahead and put this on the Galaxy. We'll go ahead and weld in the bung for the O2 sensor. And we're gonna install this first with the carburetor that is currently on my Galaxy. Now it currently has an Edelbrock carburetor. I'm a fan of Edelbrock carbs. My experience has been that they don't produce as much power as you get out of say a Holley, but they're easier to work with and I find them to be a little more reliable. You don't have power valves going bad and things like that. So I've always been a fan of the Edelbrock carburetor, and I thought this would be a fantastic test. Now, I want to compare apples. Well, I want to have as fair a test as possible. Now, if this is an apple, this for sure with a carburetor is not an apple, but the concept is the same. We are controlling the air-fuel mixture with a computer to get it as close to the perfect ratio as is possible. So that's the goal in this project. The next step is gonna to be to install this on the Galaxy, to install the O2 sensor, and then install these components with the carburetor. Then I'll play with this, I'll do the tuning, we'll drive it, we'll see how it performs. From there, this install is gonna be even easier. All I'm gonna to have to do is pretty much swap the carburetor out for this, and then plumb everything, and we're pretty much set to go. The only extra component that is gonna to need to go with this is going to be the high pressure fuel pump. But I've got that set up fairly simple and should be a relatively straightforward install. So that's what I'm doing. That's the rabbit hole that I went down. I will be doing a dedicated video on this and its install. It'll probably be at the same time that I install this intake manifold and that I weld in the bung for the O2 sensor. All in all, this should be a good comparison, but I'm just getting into this project. So I would love to know what are your thoughts? What are your questions? What would you like to see comparison wise of this and this? There's several videos out there on this besides what Thunderhead 289 has done. There's a ton of videos out there on this, but I have not seen any videos comparing this to this. So if there's something specific that you would like to see, please don't hesitate to put it down in the comments. And that may help direct what I end up doing in my upcoming videos. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them down in the comments and I would love to get back to you. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.